All right, Laura. In Commitment 2014 coverage this morning, 4029's Ben Wagner is live in Little Rock, where the two candidates for governor debate live on our station last night. Ben, what did we learn? Well, Paige, we certainly saw some vocal supporters on both sides of the aisle in both Hutchinson's camp and Ross's camp right here in the University of Arkansas at Little Rock in the debate live right here on 4029. Last night. Now, talk businesses Roby Brock and our own 4029 anchor Angela Taylor asked the questions last night. They included job creation, income tax plans, even a mention of Fayetteville's anti discrimination ordinance we've been telling you about. Along with those answers, we heard some pretty strong statements from the candidates in interviews afterward. As expected, both campaign managers and campaign spokesmen said their candidate won the debate. Now, health care, also a big issue from last night's debate. The candidates talked about the private option. It is very simple in the private option. It is working well for our rural hospitals and our urban hospitals. It's reducing the indigent care that they have had to cover for so many years. It is also helping those that have never had health insurance before. So there's some very good things about the private option. As governor, I will support the Medicaid expansion, the private option in Arkansas, and here's why. Number one, it helps save our hospitals. We lost the hospital in my hometown in the mid-90s, and that's something that I do not wish on anyone. Secondly, we're finally number one in something. With Governor Beebe's leadership, we have cut the uninsured rate in Arkansas in half in one year, and the insurance companies in Arkansas have announced they're going to cut rates 2.2 percent. So you heard it from both of those candidates there on the private option. The big question is now who actually won this debate? Both of those candidates took to Twitter saying they had won last night's contest. There is Hutchinson's tweet now. He took to Twitter saying he clearly won. But check out this tweet now from Mike Ross. He says he won by focusing on Arkansas's future. Of course, both of those candidates back on the campaign trail here this morning. Mike Ross is going to be making stops in Texarkana, D. Queen, Hope, and Nashville. Republican Asa Hutchinson will also meet with voters across the state today. And don't forget, too, coming up next week, our candidates for Senate will debate right here on 4029. You can watch Democrat Mark Pryor and Republican Tom Cotton debate on October 14th. That is six days from now. It's going to be live right here on 4029. You can hear what they plan to do for our state if elected to the Senate. For now, we're live in Little Rock. I'm Ben Wagner. 4029 News. All right, Ben, thanks so much. We'll check back in with him in just a few minutes to hear what the candidates for governor had to say about gay marriage.